you love cookies. In this video, what makes you the bully of Brookhaven School? You're not the prettiest, the smartest, the you are the most popular, but you're the most annoying. You're just, well, a bigger loser than me. What? You think being the baddie of Brookhaven is easy? <laughs> Why don't you try being a baddie for just one school day? But you're a nerd and you're ugly. And also, I can't be your friend anymore. What? Molly, you don't mean that. Also ugly and a loser. And, and, and Molly! Well, you better like me. And you better learn to respect me. Whoa. I think she's a meaner baddie than Sarah. All right. First of all, I didn't do my homework. Do it. Why are you still standing here? Go. You go bully Sarah. Wait, what? But she's a baddie. Not anymore. Hey, Sarah. Um, yeah. Molly said, well, I have to bully uh -oh. you. Oh. What? Get away from me. Too bad. Sorry. In your locker you go. Oh. Wow, Molly, I can't believe you won a million Robux. Wow, her YouTube videos are amazing. <laughs> Roblox gave her that because she won it fair and square. Well, I'm just excited to have a million Robux. Do you know what you're going to buy with them? Um, probably a lot of Robux. A lot of blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Um, Molly, are you all right? She didn't sleep at all last night. She was so excited. What I was trying to say was I'm going to buy a bunch of Roblox food. Like burritos, you know, ice cream cones. That kind of stuff. Really, Molly? That's really what you're going to spend your Robux on? <laughs> a million of them. Did you just say you won a million Robux? Oh, don't look now. Here comes the baddie. Ah! <laughs> Are you teasing me? Seriously? You don't tease the bully. The bully teases you. Now, give me that million Robux or else. <gasps> what? I'm not going to give you my Robux. You must be Looney Tunes. You must want to get stuffed into a locker or get a swirly with your head into the toilet. A swirly? No, anything but that. Obviously, you remember exactly what the last swirly I gave you was like. Please, Sarah, no! Don't stick my head in the doo-doo water! This is what you get for defying me, the biggest baddie in all of Brookhaven. <laughs> You've been flushed. <laughs> <sighs> that swirly still gives me nightmares. Ah! Exactly, loser. And if you don't want it to happen again, give me that million Robux now. Uh, I'm not really sure how to transfer it over to you. <laughs> Liar. You're a Robux expert. I'm really not. Usually I spend all of my allowance on snacks in the real world. It's true. She does. She eats so many bean burritos. She farts all the time. <laughs> Ew, gross. Now, I will show you how to transfer all your Robux over to me. It was in this moment that I realized something. I was sick of this bully. I was sick of her pushing me around, stealing my Robux, shoving me into lockers, putting my head in the toilet. I was sick of it. I got so mad at my bully that my skin turned bright red. I swear you could see smoke, fire coming out of the top of my head. I was just angry. What's up with you, loser? You spend too much time in the sun? You look like you're burned to a crisp. Um, no, I think that's just, well, adrenaline pumping into her bloodstream. She's angry. I am angry. What makes you the bully of Brookhaven School? You're not the prettiest, the smartest, the... You are the most popular, but you're the most annoying, too. You're rude. You steal people's Robux. You flush their heads down the toilet. You're just, well... A bigger loser than me! What? You think being the baddie of Brookhaven is easy? <laughs> I think a monkey could do it. An ant. A slug. Anything but a human could do it. It's so easy. Oh, really? <laughs> Why don't you try being a baddie for just one school day? <gasps> um, guys? Things are getting kind of weird right now. I'll do it! Good. But if you fail at being the best baddie in Brookhaven, 
I get your million Robux. Deal, Sarah. Deal. Whoa, Molly. You're going to be a bully. Why would you ever agree to that? Yeah, Molly. Bullies are nice. They got damage. I don't care. I'm sick of this. Molly, you don't want to be a bully. I have to be. I'm sorry about this, Brookie. But you're a nerd and you're ugly. And also, I can't be your friend anymore. What? Molly, you don't mean that. She does, Bookie. She's turning into a baddie. And you're, well, also ugly. And a loser. And, and, and... Molly! Ow. Yeah, it's a little different when it's coming at you, huh, Daisy? Ouch. It hurts my heart. Don't talk to me anymore. You both are losers! You deserve each other! I'm gonna be the biggest baddie in all of Brookhaven. <laughs> you just wait and see! Hey, Sarah told me that you're a, the newest um, baddie in charge for the day. I asked her if she got a concussion. Yeah, I did too. You're such a loser. Why'd she pick you? I'm not a loser. You two are. Look at you. You're so fake. It's like your faces are made of plastic. Ouch. Wow. You're a good bully. Not sure I like you. Yeah, well, you better like me. And you better learn to respect me. You better learn to... To worship the ground I walk on! Whoa! I think she's a meaner baddie than Sarah. Yeah, totally agree, Tiffany. That's right. And don't you forget it! So, Molly, what's the first job for us? Job? What do you mean, job? Oh, usually Sarah... Don't say her name! I'm a bigger baddie than she is! Usually, um, she who will not be named has some tasks for us. Go bully somebody, steal their lunch money, um, you know, carry her books or whatever. Oh, wait. How smart are you? Not very. How smart are you? I'm okay smart. All right. First of all, I didn't do my homework. Do it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'll do your homework right away. Why are you still standing here? Go. Um, she wasn't still standing there. Yeah, but I like to put fear in her. Now you, you go bully Sarah. Wait, what? But she's a baddie. Not anymore, she's not. Not anymore. <laughs> Molly won't even make it one day as a bully. She's way too nice. <laughs> Hey, Sarah. Um, yeah. Molly said, well, I have to bully uh -oh. you. What? Whatever, Brittany. Get out of here. Sorry, Sarah, but you're no longer the biggest baddie in Brookhaven. I need to stuff you in your locker now. Get away from me. Too bad. Sorry. In your locker you go. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, but you're not the baddie in charge anymore, Sarah. <laughs> ah, this is what it's like to be bullied. Duh. <laughs> Brookie, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Like you care, bully. You're the queen of the baddies. And your Robux were more important than me. That's not true. Look at your face, Molly, in the mirror. Can you even look at yourself? Um, well, it is a little difficult. I kind of look like I'm foaming at the mouth. Yeah, that's what crazy bullies do. You are so evil now, Molly. I've lost my best friend. I didn't know that I was changing. I just thought I'd do it for one day and keep my Robux and, and that would be it. And, and look at me. Molly, you've changed. You've really, really changed. I, I'm sorry, Brookie. Wait, what? Bullies don't say they're sorry. I'm not really that horrible. I mean, maybe my heart turned into a bully a little bit, but it isn't rotten totally. Molly, I'm so glad you're back. Yeah, but the problem is now, there goes those million Robux. No, Molly, I have a plan. You can just pretend to be mean, but don't actually be mean. Wait, what? I don't understand. This seems hard. Can I get a snack instead of listening? Molly! Sorry. <laughs> just sort of tune out when stuff gets too hard. Look. You just pretend to be a baddie, and I'll pretend to be sad. But you won't actually be being mean. Hmm, that actually sounds a great idea. Let's do this. Baddie face on. 
Oh, look. It's the wannabe bully. Whatever, loser. Yeah, loser. Molly's the biggest baddie now. Uh-huh, we'll see about that after I have her million Robux. Hey, Brookie, you smell like monkey doo-doo. <laughs> what? How could you even say that to me, Molly? Because I'm the biggest baddie ever. <laughs> Whoa, Sarah, do you see that? Brookie's actually convulsing on the ground. She's so upset. <laughs> she called me smelly like monkey poo poo. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, looks like you're never getting those Robux. What? She's not the biggest baddie. I swear it. I am. Um, Sarah, move on over. A new baddie's in town. I can't believe the school nurse had to come get Brookie. Believe it, I'm the worst baddie you'll ever meet. Aren't I loser? Molly, stop being so mean. I can't stand it anymore. Oh, Molly, I just think you are the coolest. I hope someday I can grow up to be a baddie just like you. <laughs> My cronies are starting to think Molly's the biggest baddie. I think this is sort of backfiring. I don't want the million Robux as much as I want to be the baddie of the school. That's it. I don't want your stinky Robux. Wait, what? And I don't want to give you a swirly or even touch your yucky locker. It's always sticky. Uh, that's because I eat peanut butter and jelly for breakfast sometimes. And, well, it's on my fingers. So when I touch my locker, it gets sticky jelly all over it. <laughs> Ugh, I knew something smelled like grape. <laughs> oh, there's no way you're the biggest baddie around here. That's always going to be me. Well, if it means that you'll never bully me again, I will give you back your baddie status. Fine. And don't ever try to take my Robux ever again. Fine. Sarah, you're going to let her bust you around like that? Yes, Tiffany, of course. Because I want her out of my hair. She's such a loser. Yep, totally a loser. And I'm fine with that. Loser is me. I am a loser. Guess what? I don't care. Ugh. Oh. Ugh, oh, I don't know how you even tried to take over being the school baddie. <laughs> wasn't that hard. It was much harder to hear my stomach growl all the way through math class. When's lunch? I'm starving! <laughs> I'm confused. Who are we following now? Molly or Sarah? I don't know, Tiffany! Do I look smart enough to figure out anything? Well, I don't know who the baddie is. What are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know! This Brookhaven mini movie, baby Kira caught something at daycare. Daisy thinks it's zombieism, and Molly thinks Daisy is being ridiculous. That is, until baby Kira turns green and has spots all over. They find out she has chicken pox. But can Molly and Daisy cure her? Or do they end up with chicken pox too? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And don't forget to like this video and comment below. Yes, I love when we have teacher in service because then we get out at noon and we have the whole afternoon to ourselves. Yeah, and there's no detention, which you definitely would be in if there was. What? No, I wouldn't. I actually did all my homework and I turned it in on time. Who are you? And what have you done with my sister? I'm an alien and I took your sister's place. You did? Oh my gosh. You can call me no 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 What? I don't even know how to say your alien name. No, 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 no. no incorrect. No, 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 no. Try again. I'm sorry, but can I have my sister back, please? <laughs> Daisy, this is just a face mask. What? Yeah. <laughs> it's cream for your face to make you young. Where'd you get that from? Mom's bathroom. <laughs> Apparently, she thinks she looks old or something. Molly, take that off right now. Can't believe you pretended to be an alien. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Come on, let's go ask Mom if we can go do something fun. Like what, Molly? Like go down to the beach. That sounds so much fun. My brain is fried. And I only was at school for like three hours. Mom! Mom, where are you? 
Uh, I'm right here, Molly. Uh, how was school? Mom, you sound frazzled. What's wrong? Have you been doing dishes this entire time? Because I feel like I saw you doing dishes before I left for school. Hmm, this apple is delicious. Um, no, I'm just doing some dishes from when I ate lunch today. I've got to go pick up baby Kiria early from daycare. You do? Why? Yeah, Mom. Why aren't you going back to work? No, baby Kira. Well, she needs picked up. They said she's not feeling too good. Oh, no. Maybe she just needs to go poo-poo in her diaper. Oh, Molly, I doubt that's what it is. <laughs> I don't. Babies go poo-poo all the time. Mom, um, well, since we got out of school early and I don't have a detention for a change, could we go down to the beach? Please, 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 please. Please, Mom. Sure, I don't care, but be back by four, okay? Okay, Mom. First, I gotta have a snack. A healthy one, Molly. Okay, fine. Mm. Actually, this banana is pretty good. If it was inside an ice cream and called the banana split, that is. <laughs> Daisy, hurry up. Come on, I want to go to the beach. Oh, my sister takes forever. She has to look just right, just perfect to go to the beach. I'm coming, Molly. I had to brush my hair and stuff. <laughs> you look adorable. So don't you, Molly. Wow, you've really upped your game with the fashion stuff. Yep. Yeah. I love this bathing suit and these sunglasses. Okay, Molly, let's get out of here. Daisy, I think that school should only be half day every day. Well, I don't think that's ever going to happen because we already have Saturday and Sunday off. Would you have to go to school half day Saturday and Sunday? Absolutely not. We'd only go to school Monday through Friday, but we'd only go from 8 a.m. to noon. And then we'd have a beach day every day. That's great until it snows, Molly. Okay, well, then we could have a ski day in the winter. I think we need to learn more than that, Molly. Nah. What could we possibly learn that we wouldn't learn, like, being at the beach? A lot of things. Science, English, blah, blah, blah. That's all I hear, Daisy. <laughs> See you later, school. Ugh, school. Just looking at it gives me a stomach ache. Molly, don't be so dramatic. Besides, we're at the beach. Yes! The beach, the beach. It's so much fun. No singing, Molly. What? Who made you boss? I made me boss. No singing at the beach. This is just relax time. Fine. Daisy, want to get in the water? Huh? 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 Molly, no. We don't want to get in the water. Jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, fine, Molly. Ah, <sighs> this feels so good. This is the life. I'm telling you. I could just chill out here all day day. And at night, too, we could unboast marshmallows and stuff. That would be pretty amazing. Except for I didn't bring any marshmallows. I don't think. Let me check my backpack. Marshmallows. Okay, I have a monkey. I have a stethoscope. I have money. I have a tent. We could sleep in the tent. Wait a minute. I found a marshmallow. Well, congratulations, Molly. Do you want a trophy? Yeah, a marshmallow trophy. Hey, guacamole. Is it getting dark already? Yeah, Molly, we should roast marshmallows and stuff. Sounds good to me. This is going to be so good. Yep, it totally is, Molly. Don't catch us on fire. No, I like mine to be burned. Like, I like mine to be totally on fire. Ew. No one takes those s'mores like that. I love them like that. Delish. Molly, oh my God. It's past four o'clock. Oh, no, we're late. It's almost five. Come on. I feel like we just got here, though. Too bad, Molly. We gotta go. Okay, well, maybe we can come to the beach tomorrow. Dizzy, step on it. You drive like a granny. I drive safely, Molly. OMG. If safe is five miles an hour, come on. You're gonna get a ticket just for driving too slow. We're here already, Miss Complains a lot. Mom, Mom. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry that we're home late. Girls, you're definitely late. <laughs> Stay back. Baby Kira's in quarantine. Wait, what? Why? Because she is definitely sick. Everybody put on your face shields and your hazmat suits. Um, uh, Mom, don't be crazy right now. I'm serious, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna go to the store and get a lot of Clorox wipes. Stay away from your sister unless she needs a snack. And then leave it on the table and back away slowly. Um, uh, okay. Oh my gosh, Molly. <laughs> Do what Mom says, hurry. I don't know why everybody's freaking out. Baby Kira looks just fine to me. Yeah, you look totally fine to me. Molly, I think she might be turning into a, a, a zombie. A zombie? What are you talking about? No, she's not. Yeah, why else would Mom be so freaked out? She's gonna start the zombie apocalypse. We have to keep her quarantined. She looks totally normal to me. She, 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 she's got spots under her eyes. What? No, those are her, those are her friends. <laughs> and they're adorable. Molly, baby Kira doesn't have freckles. Wait, what? So, 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 so what are those? It's the zombieism. Ah! Molly, seriously. Daisy, 
Daisy, get up before you catch it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Molly, put on your hazmat suit. Okay, okay, fine. Are you happy now? Yes, Molly, I feel a little safer. <sighs> I can't wait till Mom gets back with the Clorox wipes. We have to disinfect everything. Daisy, relax. I'm sure baby Kira's not turning into a zombie, right? Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! She kind of sounds like a zombie. Molly, get out the mop. Start cleaning everything. Ah, snack. Ah, snack. Oh, she wants a snack. Uh, do you want a brains? Uh, no. Okay, she's not full zombie yet. All right, let me go get her. Let me go get her a bottle. Here you go, baby Kira. Okay, I'm just going to kind of throw this at you, okay? Woo! Sorry, but mom says you're infected and I don't want zombieism. Here you go. That tastes like brains. It doesn't taste like brains. Of course not. It's it's milk. I don't like it. I'm so good. <laughs> Daisy, I think she's turning green. Don't be ridiculous, Molly. Her zombieism couldn't turn her into a zombie that quickly. <laughs> Baby Kira, I'm sorry you're turning into a zombie. I don't feel good. Ah! She is green. Okay, okay, we gotta stay back. We gotta stay back. What does she need, says Molly? She is our sister after all. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. She's gonna eat our brains. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Okay, Baby Kira, just sit on the couch, okay? Mom will be back soon, and she'll know what to do about your zombieism. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so sorry. How'd you turn into a zombie? Did one of the other kids at daycare bite you or something? Molly, I've got I've got the fire extinguisher just in case. Daisy, we don't need a fire extinguisher. She's our little sister. Girls, I'm back with the Clorox wipes. Oh, thank goodness mom's back. She'll know what to do about Baby Kira being a zombie. Oh my gosh, Baby Kira, you're green. I know, right? She's a zombie. She's... What? A zombie mom, look, her skin is green. She's got spots. Girls, your sister is not a zombie. <laughs> what made you think she was turning into a zombie? You said she was contagious and we had to be quarantined. She had to be quarantined. We had to stay away from her. Girls, the reason why I wanted you to stay away from her is because she has chicken pox and neither of you have had it yet, which means you could catch it. Chicken pox? Why is she green? Because I got to throw up. Oh no, her tummy's upset. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, come on, baby Kira. Go into the bathroom. Oh, baby Kira, I'm so sorry you don't feel good, honey. Come on, I'll give you some medicine and you can lay down. Do you feel better, a little better now? Is your tummy a little bit better? Yeah, I don't want any more to eat. Oh, I understand, sweetheart. Come on, let's give you some medicine and have you lay down. Poor baby Kira! This whole time I thought she was being a zombie. Oh, Molly, don't get so close. I don't want you to get the chicken pox. They're not very fun, as you can tell. Would you go up into the medicine cabinet and get some medicine for her? She needs some Tylenol. Sure, Mom. Oh, my gosh. Poor baby Kira. I feel so bad for her. Wait a minute. Where am I going? <laughs> I have to go into the bathroom. Mom, I've got the baby Tylenol. Mom? She went upstairs with baby Kira. She really doesn't feel good. Okay. I'll go upstairs. <sighs> Ugh, I'm starting to get a headache a little bit. Must be I was just so stressed out. Molly, you're not on the second floor yet. Ugh, this is not working. The elevator isn't working. Ugh, finally the elevator worked. Mom? Mom? Okay, she must be in, like, her room or something. Oh, baby Kira. Here, baby Kira, this is gonna make you feel so much better. Take some of this baby Tylenol. It'll help you, um, just not be in pain anymore and stuff, okay? Okay, I do it. Wow, she must really be sick. She never likes taking medicine. She really doesn't feel good, Molly. <sighs> I think we should try to let her get some rest. Give rest, rest. <sighs> Wow, she's sleeping already. She must be so sick. My poor baby. I hate seeing any of you sick. It's okay, Mom. Pull it together. Pull it together. We have to keep this all together for baby Kira. You're right. Uh, I've got to dry my tears. I just hate seeing any of my girls not feel good. Ugh, speaking of not feeling good, ugh, I kind of have a headache. Oh, no, Molly. That's how baby Kira started with the chicken pox. What? No, I don't want the 
a chicken pox. Oh my gosh, that sounds that sounds terrible. Nope, I don't have them. I'm running away. Um, uh, Molly, you can't run away from the chicken pox. They kind of invade your body. What? Daisy, I've got terrible news. What is it, Molly? Your show isn't on? Baby Kayla threw up on you? What? Um, I may have the chicken pox. Why are you sitting so close to me? What is wrong with you? Um, yeah, maybe you should stay away from your sister. Oh my gosh, get the disinfectant. Holy guacamole, I'm gonna get the chicken pox because Molly couldn't stay away from Daisy now, could she? Daisy, why are you talking about yourself that way? I don't know, I'm just freaking out right now, I guess. <laughs> you girls, I guess are gonna have the chicken pox. I mean, it had to happen eventually, right? What? No! It could happen never! Ugh, I don't feel so good, Mom. Ugh. 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 Oh my gosh, Molly's turning into a zombie! Uh, girls, I thought we already established that no one is turning into a zombie. It's just chicken pox. But she's moaning like a zombie! That's because my head hurts and my stomach too! Ugh. Well, Molly, I guess you can take off your hazmat suit and face mask because it seems like you've caught it. Oh no! I'm gonna be in my comfy pajamas then because I definitely need comfy pajamas when I don't feel good. Oh no, Molly. You have the spots! What? The spots? No! I don't want the spots! I, I, I need my cuddly monkey. I need my cuddly monkey! Okay, Molly, don't panic. Here you go. Cuddly monkey! <laughs> I got the spots! Uh-oh. My stomach kind of feels weird. Oh my gosh! Stay back! Stay back from me, chicken pox invaders! Daisy, it's still me, your sister! No! No, it's not! You're a chicken pox zombie, and I don't want it! Daisy! Oh, Daisy, try to be nice to your sister. That's no longer my sister. That's the chicken pox zombie! I told you I'm not a zombie! Uh, uh. Then why are you moaning like that? Because! Uh. Ah! Why are you green like that? Because uh, I don't feel good! Whoa, you're really bright green, Molly. Oh, I think you might have it worse than baby Kira. I don't know, but I'll be right back. Monkey has to go potty. Really, zombie? I don't believe you. You're probably in there eating brains. Nope, nope. I definitely am not eating brains. Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I'm dying. Molly, you're not dying. It's just a chicken box. Come on, we'll give you some medicine. Oh. Stay back, zombie chicken pox person, fig, creature. Make her be nice to me. <laughs> Daisy, try to be nice to your sister, okay? That's not my sister. That's not my sister. Whatever. I'm going to go lay down. The chicken pox can't get me. The chicken pox can't get me. The chicken pox can't get me. Oh. <laughs> Daisy, where are you? Daisy. 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to see anybody. Daisy? Oh, no. Daisy, you caught the zombieism. I mean, chicken pox. I know. I'm a zombie. Oh, Daisy, you're not a zombie, honey. It's just chicken pox. But I guess you can take your hazmat suit off, your mask, and put on your pajamas. Oh, no. I feel terrible. Come on. Up to bed. Oh, I can't even move. Oh, it's all Marley's fault. She said too close to me. Well, the truth of the matter is, Daisy, is when you live with somebody else as chicken pox, even if you disinfect everything and you try to be super cautious and stay away from each other, you usually catch it. Chicken pox is highly contagious, but the good news is you will only ever get it once. Really? Well, that's good news. What about my science test? Oh, no. You're not going to class for at least a week. What? I gotta miss school? Oh, I'm gonna be brain dead by the time I go back to school. I really am a zombie. Come on, Daisy. Off to bed with you. Oh, oh, ah. So sick. So sick. Oh, so sick. Oh, my poor girls. All three of you have chicken pox. You look terrible. Like zombies. Oh, I never knew you could look like a zombie if you want one. I think everyone sort of feels like a zombie when they get sick, girls, especially with chicken pox. But don't worry, I have some very good medicine. Do you mean very good that it tastes good? No, it tastes terrible, but it'll make you feel better. Oh, when's this gonna be over? When the last spot disappears. Oh, great. I have spots. But as we will. Me too. Oh. Well, girls, uh, having the chicken pox is like a rite of passage. Pretty much everybody gets it. Oh, man. I don't know if I'll survive it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, you. Over there. I'm over here. Yay! Hi! There you 
Bar. Four kids are about to wake up for Brookhaven School. Three of them are actually healthy, but faking being sick so they don't have to go to school. One of them is actually sick. Can you guess which one is actually sick and the other three are faking it? Let us know in the comment section below. Let's find out. Is the faker Molly? The troublemaker who never does her homework and always gets detention? Is Daisy actually sick or is she faking it? She's usually a goody two shoes, always does her homework, is always to class on time. Wow. Could it possibly be that the bubbly BFF Brookie who's sweeter than candy is the faker? Or is it the bully baddie Sarah who is always so mean to everybody. She seems like the faker, doesn't she? Leave us a comment below with the person you think is actually sick. Now, what are you waiting for? Go solve this mystery. Girls, come on, it's time to wake up. Uh huh. no, too early. Dreaming about purple unicorns. Molly, come on. If you're late another day, you're gonna get detention again. Okay, I'll be, I'll be right there. Uh. Molly, I'm serious. You're gonna get detention and I'm gonna ground you. Well, I don't know, Bob. I can't go to school today. What? <coughs> you always love school. Why not, Daisy? I just, I don't feel good, Bob. Wait, what? But you love school. I know, but when you're sick, you're sick. <gasps> Uh, I, I better went into the bathroom. I'm gonna throw up! That doesn't seem like Daisy. She's always so healthy. Maybe she's just nervous about taking that math test. She is really hard on herself if she doesn't get a hundred. Uh, Bob, I can't go to school and I have spots all over my face. Wait, what? Uh, Daisy, you look terrible. Oh my god. Maybe you should stay home. Uh, let me go get the thermometer. I think you may have a fever too by the looks of you. Yeah, definitely. Definitely have a fever. Uh. Oh boy, my math test. I think I got a hundred. I'm sorry to say this, Daisy, but you did not get a hundred. You got an 89. Wait, what? Yes, that's right. You got an no! <laughs> I'm gonna fail every test from here on out. I just know it. I'm never going back to a math test ever again. Here comes Mom. Better turn that smile down into a frown again. Oh my, Daisy. I think you do have a fever. <coughs> That's why. Yeah, I put it on the lamp so it got super hot. What? Nothing, Mom, nothing. Well, I'll go right back up and get in bed. Maybe you want to play on your iPad? Yeah, that would probably take my mind off of all of these itchy spots. Okay, honey, I hope you feel better. Molly, get out of bed. Ow! Oh, uh, no, I can't. I'm really tired. Molly, well, if you wouldn't stay up so late playing Roblox, you wouldn't be tired. Now, come on. Mom, the sun isn't even up yet. Get out of bed. Okay. Molly, why are you crawling around like a baby? Do you need some coffee? No, Mom, I just feel kind of funny. Mm-hmm, I bet. I bet you were hearing that your sister was staying home because she was sick, and now you're going to fake it. Huh? What? No. I'm not faking anything. I just feel... I feel so tired. Mom, please. Just... Five more minutes, please. Molly, I'm going to make you some oatmeal. Come down and eat it in two minutes. Okay, fine. I'm not really hungry, though. My stomach's kind of upset. Ugh. Quit faking it, Molly. Ow. Meanwhile. Brookie, 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 wake up, rise and shine. I want to see you giving me 20 push-ups, 20 crunches, and 100. Jumping jacks! 
Ow. Mom, uh, not today. What do you mean not today? Today is soccer tryouts. Aren't you excited? Uh, Mom, I'm already in swim class. Uh, I'm in the swim team, and I'm in cheerleading, and I'm in basketball, and uh, I'm in hockey, and and there's always time for one more sport. I can't wait to see you dominate on the soccer field. Mom, I'm really tired from doing all these extracurricular activities and my homework. What are you talking about? It's soccer! I love soccer, so you should love soccer. I even wore my game day face! Mom, are you going to show up at tryouts again? It's embarrassing. No, I'm your biggest cheerleader. Go, 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 go! Mom, ugh. I feel really sick. <coughs> Wait, what? Weren't you just fine a second ago? Yeah, but oh no. I think I have to go poo poo. <coughs> what? Oh no. I knew I shouldn't have fed her chili for dinner. How is she going to try out for the soccer team now? <coughs> Our whole family line is going to be, well, ruined. We all were star soccer players. Come on, Brookie. You're going to be late for your swim meet. I'm coming, Mom. I just got home from hockey practice. I know, and now you better be ready for your swim meet. You can eat a protein bar and drink some water in the car. Can I have McDonald's? McDonald's? Are you crazy? No way. We don't eat Happy Meals in this household. They're total garbage. Your body needs performance food. Now, come on. Mom, those things taste gross. I hate those protein bars. Yeah. Yeah, but they're so good for your performance. Yeah, but they taste like cardboard. Come on, Brookie, swim faster. Ugh, even your grandpa can swim faster than that. Ugh, it's so much pressure. I don't want to do sports anymore. It's not even fun. Oh, my mom is so crazy about sports. Are you feeling any better now, honey? No, mom. I... I think we have to admit that I'm not going to make it to soccer tryouts. Oh, but I brought you some Gatorade. <laughs> That'll make your poo-poos better, honey. And then you can go and try out. No, Mom, I'm too sick. Oh, no. <sighs> this will ruin our family name. Mom, it's just soccer. I'm a part of everything else. I'm sure that we'll survive. Oh, I can't believe she got sick. This is terrible. Well, maybe you'll get better in a few hours. Doubt it. Oh, I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so. <laughs> Yahoo! She's finally gone. And I can just chill for one day in my life. She pressures me way too much. Ugh. Billy, are you still crawling around? What, what are you doing? I told you. Oh, I just feel weird. Well, honey, I didn't have any oatmeal left. I'm sorry, I have to go to the grocery store, but I do have some Brookio's. This is my funny, your best friend's name is Brookie, and the cereal is named that. Yeah, hilarious. Well, why don't you eat something, and if you want, I'll make you some coffee. No, no food, nothing. Just sleep. That's it, Molly. You have a 9 p.m. bedtime for the next week. Hey, what? I went to bed at 8.30. Mm-hmm, I'm sure you did. So you didn't play up, stay up playing obbies half the night? No, I I went to bed at like 8.30. I was, I was so tired. Ugh, Molly. Then I'm sure you're just trying to get out of detention. Or your math test? Ugh, Mom. You're talking so loud and my head is hurting. Ow. Meanwhile. Ew, who made this coffee at Starbucks? It's like so gross today. Ugh, Brookhaven Starbucks is so lame. Yeah. Sarah, what are you doing? Get out of bed. Ugh, I have things to do. Uh, Mom, I'm not really feeling very good. Uh, okay, what am I supposed to do about that? You're my mom. You're supposed to, like, get me, like, some chicken noodle soup and, like, I don't know, be nice to me and stuff. Well, um, sorry, but they're filming a new movie in Brookhaven today, and they cast me in the leading role. I don't have time to be your mom. I'm busy. Ugh, of course you don't. 
Can I stay home from school? I don't care what you do. I'm busy. But, um, yeah. Hope you have a good day. I mean, you look like a zombie. Maybe some, put some makeup on that or something. Bye! <coughs> Psst! Hey, you! Over there! The video's almost over. L look over here. Hey! Yeah, here I am. So now that the video's almost over, you have to decide who was actually sick. Only one of them was... Tell us the name of the sick person in the comment section below this video. Uh, Mom, I don't feel so good. Molly, you have faked it so many times, I don't even believe you. Get up and get on the bus. This week on Survivor, man gets eaten by a crocodile. Holy guacamole! <gasps> oh, look, it's Brookie! Hello? Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm um, just watching some TV, but did you know on Survivor this week, somebody gets eaten by a crocodile? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I know, crazy, right? Hey, what are you doing right now? You want to play some soccer or something? I'd love to. Let me go ask my mom, okay? Hold on. Mom! 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 Yes, Molly, I'm over here doing a mountain of chores. Would you like to help? <laughs> Very funny, Mom. Hey, um, since it's summer break, Brookie wants to come over and hang out and play soccer. Is that okay? Um, well, I don't know. Your room was really messy. Did you clean it? Um, yeah, it's clean-ish. Sort of. I mean, pretty clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay, Molly. Well, as long as your room is clean. Sure, Brookie can come over. Wow. Hey, Brookie, you still there? Yeah, Molly, what's going on? My mom said you could come over. Come on over in like five minutes, okay? Sure, Molly, I'll bring my soccer ball. See you then. Brookie Cookie! Brookster! Brookie dookie 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 doo doo doo! <laughs> Molly, you have so many crazy nicknames for me. <laughs> yeah, but my favorite is Brookie Cookie because the word, well, Brookie and Cookie are in it. Oh, you brought the good soccer ball. Of course I did, Molly. Now let's see who can kick it the farthest. Me! It's gonna be me! I don't know, Molly, I've been practicing. Hey, don't send it all the way down into town! Oh, now I have to run down this huge hill! Told you I'd kick it the farthest. <laughs> okay, my turn. Uh, Brookie, you didn't kick it. You missed it and it went behind you. Ow. Okay, yeah, but I've been practicing. Oh, man. It's okay. Just just try again, Brookie. You got this. You got this. Brookie Cookie! Brookie Nader! Brookster! Brookie doo dee doo dee doo dee doo doo. Wow, you have been practicing, Brookie. That's amazing. Thanks, Molly. I really want to try out for the soccer team this fall at school. I think you could make it. I definitely do. Wow. <gasps> Look at this room. Molly didn't clean her room at all. Ew, what's that smell? Is that dirty laundry? Ew, pew. And there's dirt everywhere and garbage. And what's that? Pizza from last week? Yeah. Ugh, Molly. So I told Luke, if he really likes Sarah, then don't bother asking me to the dance. <gasps> yeah, right? She's such a bully. Molly! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Molly, your mom looks and sounds super mad. I don't know why. What got into her? Molly, did you tell me you cleaned your room? Oh, um, about that. <laughs> Molly Acker. You send Brookie Cookie home right now and come inside and clean up this disaster of a room. You're lucky I'm not grounding you for the rest of summer for lying to me. Oh, man, Brookie. We were just starting to really have fun. I know, Molly. I'm so sorry, but it sounds like your mom's really mad. I might see you next week after I clean it. Seriously, it's that messy. It's going to take days and days to clean it. Well, Molly, good luck. I'll see you later. Thanks. Bye. Molly, you and I are going to have a problem with each other if the whole summer vacation goes like this. Your room is a disaster. Rats are going to start coming in there. 
Cockroaches! You have pizza from last week. Looks really good. I just got home from the park. Well, your room is very messy, both of you. Ooh. Don't blame me. Molly's the slob. Really, Daisy? I'm the slob? What about those science experiments that went wrong that smell like a bean burrito fart? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, there's that. Both of you girls go to your room and don't come back out until it's clean. Fine. This totally ruined my hangout with Brookie. Worst Ow. day ever. Uh-oh. Uh, my oh, room is pretty messy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think it's that bad. Yeah. Molly, the smell that's coming from your laundry is about to make me pass out. Now, I'm thinking we should probably just shovel it out the window. Ugh. This is going to take all day. Ah, nobody knows how sad I am. Nobody even cares. Hey, D Daisy, do you remember that door being there? No, we don't even have a closet in this room. Did Dad make a closet while we were gone? I don't remember that, and I was just here this morning. How weird. <gasps> Daisy, do you think we should look inside? I don't know, Molly. Look at how that light is coming out from below the door. That's really weird. Yeah, but maybe it's just a place to put our clothes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, let's step inside. Um, uh, I feel like this might be a bad idea. Daisy, it's a door in our bedroom. I'm sure that it's nothing. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Daisy! What is this place? I don't know. It looks like a trash chute. <laughs> Convenient my dad put a trash chute in our bedroom. That way it makes cleaning out all my garbage super easy. Whoa! What? It was a trash chute. Look, we're just in the basement with a bunch of smelly garbage. Yeah, I thought that door was going to go somewhere cool. Like, a, like an alternate universe. But turns out we're just back in our house. Now we gotta go clean our rooms. Yeah, so annoying. Ooh. Daisy, I smell like garbage. Me too, Molly. Ew, it smells gross. Mom, do you have any trash bags? What? Trash bags? For what? Um, because we're cleaning that huge mess out of our room that you told us to. What? Clean a mess? No, you girls don't have to do that. Do you want a cupcake? Um... Yeah, are you feeling okay, Mom? I feel great. <laughs> How about I make you all your favorite foods? Um, okay, but you don't want us to clean our room? You were really mad about that. Uh -oh. No way. Cleaning your room is boring. I want to have lots of fun. <coughs> Starting with your most delicious favorite snacks. I don't know what happened to my mom. But all of a sudden, she turned from Karen into the fun mom. Wow. I'm all about this. All about it. Okay, mom, I'll have some cupcakes, some pizza, a candy bar. You know, the list is pretty long. No problem, sweetie. I'll make you anything you ever want. Mm. This donut's delicious. And when I'm done stuffing that in my face, I got some pizza and a muffin. Mmm. This is delicious. Wow, Molly, if we eat any more, we're either going to explode or have the worst stomach ache ever. <laughs> It'll be worth it. So worth it. More donuts. More pizza. More muffins. Here I am with one of your favorite treats. Ice cream. Seriously? Where'd you get that ice cream cart from, Mom? Oh, I just bought it. Because I thought you girls would love it. Oh, uh, Mom, you've turned into the best mom ever. Wait, do we have to do any chores today? Like vacuum or... <laughs> no, that's boring. I want us to have fun all the time here. Um, okay. Well, this sounds great to me. Daisy, this is the episode I was telling you about. Where the guy on Survivor gets eaten by a by a crocodile. Ugh, I ate too many sweets. I feel terrible. Nah, not me. I still got room for more pizza. You got a buff, Molly. Oh, look at the time. 8.30. We need to go up to bed. Ugh, yeah. 
I really wanted to see the part where the crocodile comes, though. Hi, girls. How's TV? Are you having fun? Yeah, totally. Yay, except for we didn't see the part about the crocodile, and it's time for us to go to bed. Bedtime? Don't be ridiculous. There's no such t thing as bedtime here. Wait, what? Sure, you can stay up as late as you want and eat more snacks. Always more snacks. Sounds good to me. Not me. I got a stomachache. Ow. Ugh. Ugh. I can't take one more bite. My pants are going to explode. <laughs> or, well, Oops, my stomach might explode instead. Ew, Molly. Come on, Molly, let's go to bed. My stomach really hurts. Yeah, me too. Come on. It's super late. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm exhausted. And also, I think I might need to have a moth bucket. Ugh, me too. Ugh, why did I eat all that? That was a bad idea. Can't believe my mom let me do that. Ugh, my stomach is so upset. I need some medicine. Pepto Bismol, here I come. Ugh. Oh, wow. It's really dark down here. My mom always leaves the light on. She knows I'm afraid of the dark. What's that chop, chop, chopping sound? Mom? Are you still up? Yes, honey. I'm making more sweet treats for you and your sister. Um, actually, I was thinking that I needed some Pepto-Bismol. My stomach's really hurting. No more sweet treats. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. and stay up late. You don't have to do any chores. And don't even worry about ever going to school again. We can all be together. Always. I mean, as long as you want to be like me. <laughs> and I'm so fun, aren't I? This is all just a bad dream. It's because I ate too many weird things before bed. Yeah, just go back to sleep, Molly. When you wake up, everything will be just fine. I'm sure of it. Ah! <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? I went downstairs to get some medicine. And, 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 and Mom was really, really, really looking different. Daisy, you'd even put your pajamas on. I know. My stomach hurt too bad. I just got into bed just like this. What do you mean, Mom was really different? I mean, she, 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 she had the weird face and her eyes were like really creepy. And, uh, Molly, you're being dramatic because your stomach hurts. Go to bed. Fine. Rude. I don't even know if I'm going to be asleep. That creepy face. It's all I can think about. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to be like you, other mother. You're creeping, no. Molly, wake up. It's morning. Huh, what? What? Where's creepy mother? What? What are you talking about, Molly? You were just being dramatic. <sighs> Let's go have some breakfast. Something healthy. Yeah, you're probably right. It was probably just my imagination after I ate all that junk food. So now do you want to have something healthy? Um, is a candy bar for breakfast considered healthy? What? No, Molly! You could have an apple or a piece of fruit or some eggs and toast. Yeah, for once in my life, I probably will eat something healthy. Yesterday was crazy! Made my stomach kind of really hurt. Come on, let's go eat some apples and stuff for breakfast. Good morning, Mom! Good morning, girls. I made you pancakes with donuts on top. Uh, we were thinking about something healthy. No more sweet treats, Mom. It's too much on our stomachs. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Sweet treats are the best. <coughs> ah, it wasn't all a dream. Ah, what is going on right now, Molly? 
My guess is when we went through that door, it was a portal to another world with another mother. A different mother? Other mother? Creepy mother! <laughs> I'm so much fun. Other mother loves you and wants you to be just like me. Um, I'm thinking no. How do we get back to reality where there's chores and, you know, not creepy faces and stuff? There is no way back. You're with me now. And I love you. Now let me go get some needle and thread. I want to make your face just like mine. Um, I'm thinking no. Molly, run! Oh my god. Oh my god, I was tripped over the ice cream stand that other mother got. I mean, I guess that'd be okay, okay way to like fall as if you were falling in a vat of ice cream. Molly, quit thinking about crazy food things. Just, just run. I am running as fast as I can after eating all those treats yesterday. Holy guacamole! Daisy, everything looks the same! How do we know how to get back? Daisy, look, what's that? It looks like a portal, Molly! Maybe a doorway back to, back to where we came from! Where are you two going? We're family now. Ah! Daisy, I don't know where that portal goes, but it can't be as bad as here with other mother! Go for it, Daisy! Go! back at our bedroom. Um, that door is evil. Do not ever go in there. Other mother is creepy. Let's see. Let's see, though, if we're back in our own reality. Mom? Mom? Do you have an axe and a, and a creepy face? Ooh. What are you girls doing down here? So far, she seems like our real mom. Of course I'm your real mom. You've been up in your bedroom for five minutes and I guarantee that room is not clean yet. Mom, I'm so happy to see you. What? Why? What? What's going on? We just love you, mom. Thanks for making us do all of these chores and clean our room and, and, and be sort of like crazy about us, you know, doing our schoolwork and we love you. Aww. Are you girls trying to get out of cleaning your room? Not gonna happen! Go clean it. Mom, anything you want, we'll do it! Marty, look! The puddle door! It's gone! Holy guacamole! You know what I say? Goodbye and good riddance! Yeah, I've never been so happy to clean my messy room. Well, you have fun with that. I'm just gonna eat this donut from, you know, other mom. <gasps> Molly, you brought back something from the other world? Now she's always going to have a way to get through to us. Don't eat that donut! Um, too late. <laughs>
I'm going to be the most popular Snapchatter in the world. Is that even a word, Molly? Snapchatter? Yeah, I just made it up. I'm going to be the best Snapchatter ever. We'll see about this. Let's have a competition. Whoever gets the most views on their night routine Snapchat wins. Challenge accepted. Hey guys, I'm about to do the most awesome night routine ever. So let's get this started. What? Why is the door locked? Hello? Unlock the door. I'm trying to do a Snapchat. I'll be out in a minute. My mom's in there doing her night routine, obviously. Molly, can you turn off that Snapchat? No, Mom. I'm doing my night routine. Molly, don't go in there. Oh, no. Molly. Oh, yuck. My mom made a giant stinky poo-poo and now it's like, it's like, it's like toxic death. Oh, Mom, what do you have to say for yourself? What I have to say is, get that phone out of my face. Okay, this Snapchat is over. But make sure you make me the most popular Snapchatter ever. Molly, we need to have a talk about Snapchat. When you invade someone's privacy, not okay. You are on your phone and not spending family time, also not okay. Mom, can I make a snap of you saying this? Ooh. Molly, put the phone down. Sorry, Mom, can't. I have to go take some Snapchats. I'm trying to beat Daisy to be the most popular in all of Brookhaven. Molly, get back here, please. Okay, the Snapchat, I guess, will be about my mom yelling at me about being on my phone. Okay, Mom, action. Molly? You are spending way too much time on your phone, especially on Snapchat. My mom thinks I'm spending way too much time on my phone. Lame! <laughs> Molly, put that phone away right now. <sighs> Fine, Mom. You need to try to spend less time on that phone, okay? First thing tomorrow, I'd like you to do some other things besides Snapchat. Fine. I mean, I don't need Snapchat. I can do this. Great. Now go to bed, Molly. Everybody needs some rest. Mom, I think the bathroom needs some Febreze. Feed you! The next morning. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? I'm just making a Snapchat of me laying on the couch, being lazy like a sloth. I thought Mom said no Snapchat. Ooh. No, she said try not to use Snapchat. And I'm going to try really hard. I promise. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you're trying super hard, Molly. Good morning, Molly. I see you're already on Snapchat. How about trying to not be on Snapchat so much? Ooh. Um, yeah, okay. I'll put it away. There. <coughs> Absolutely. Great job. Now, come on. Let's go have some breakfast. Hey, guys. What should I have for breakfast? I can't decide if I should have leftover pizza, waffles, chocolate. Molly, are you on Snapchat again? Of course I am, Mom. I have to decide what I'm going to have for breakfast. And I need to make a Snapchat about it. Molly, put that phone away. Okay, fine. Jeepers. I guess I'll just pick waffles. Mmm, this burrito is delicious. <laughs> Look at my mom. She fell asleep on the couch and she's drooling. Perfect Snapchat moment. Check this out. This is how old people sleep. <laughs> what? Oh, who sent me a notification? What? Molly made a snap of me drooling? I'm not drooling. Wait, am I drooling? Ooh. Oh, that's it. I've had it with this Snapchat. AT&T, how may I help you? Yes, this is Laura Acker, and I would like to block Snapchat, all of the apps off of my daughter's phones, please. Are you sure? Pretty sure they're going to hate you forever if you do that. Well, it's just a risk I'll have to take. Block them. Maddie, look how popular my snaps are. So what? I'm popular too. Not as popular as my night routine. Well, that's because mom stunk up the bathroom, but you just wait. I'm going to make the best snaps in the entire world. In all of Brookhaven, at least. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on with my Snapchat? What do you mean? You probably broke it because you're so ugly. Ooh. Molly, rude! I'm going to tell Mom. Something's definitely wrong with my Snapchat. And all my other apps on my phone, too. Huh? What? Let me check mine. Hey. Snapchat is banned? 
What's going on? I don't know, but maybe we should call AT&T. No, we could do something better. Mom! Mom, mom, mommy, 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 mom, 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 mom. Yes, mommy, what is it? Look, look at my phone. Mm, my phone is saying that, that Snapchat is banned. Ooh. What? Banned? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, isn't this terrible news? What's wrong with this thing? Come on. Well, I guess you have to spend more time in the real world now. The real world? Are you crazy? Help me fix my phone, please. Call AT&T. I can't help you fix it. What? Why not? Because I'm the one that had it banned. <laughs> what? You did what? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. But anyway, that's what you get for sharing such embarrassing things about me on Snapchat. Spending all of your time on it instead of spending time with your family. And basically becoming completely obsessed with making snaps. Oh, MG. Mom, how could you? You should be a mom timeout. Mom, jail! That's it. Time out for you, Mom! Molly, please! Please let me out of Mom Time Out! I promise I'll never block your apps or Snapchat ever again! Please! Let me out of Time Out! <laughs> Molly, snap out of it! Molly! Huh? What? You're daydreaming. Anyway, you can't be on Snapchat. It's banned. Mom! Come on! Sorry, but no can do. You need to start spending more time in the real world and understanding that not everybody wants you to snap their lives. Ugh. Worst day ever. What am I gonna do with myself? I'm so bored, I'm bored. Molly, you've been without Snapchat for five seconds. <laughs> and I won't even make it five seconds more. Please, mom, turn it back on. No, Molly, Ooh. go outside and get some fresh air. Fresh air, who needs fresh air? I just need Snapchat, Oh. Hey there, loser, what are you crying about? <laughs> Go away, Sarah, no one wants to talk to you. <laughs> what are you doing, Sarah? Turn off Snapchat. I'm snapping you crying like a baby. Yeah. Why are you crying? I have a good reason, okay? Just leave me alone. Well, tell everybody in my snap why you're crying. Are you just gonna look like a baby? I'm crying because my mom banned Snapchat. What? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh yeah, it's so funny. All of my dreams are going down the toilet. <laughs> I always thought you were the biggest turd anyway. Time to get <laughs> What? You just call me a turd? Yeah, and I just snapped everything you just said. <laughs> so now you're gonna look like a total loser. <laughs> Worst day ever! <laughs> Molly, what's wrong, Molly? I didn't think Snapchat was gonna be that important. Well, it is! <laughs> Talk to me. I'd rather make a snap about it. Molly, no, you're gonna talk to me. That's what we do as a family. Sarah saw me crying outside. Sarah, the bully from school? Yeah, she got out of her car and she made a Snapchat of me. Looking ridiculous. That sounds kind of familiar. What do you mean? Well, you've taken some really embarrassing snaps of me. Okay, well, never mind. What can I do to make you feel better? Well, now she's embarrassing me in front of everybody in her snaps. Well, the good thing is, is you don't have Snapchat, so you don't have to see it. Mom, that doesn't solve it. <laughs> Molly, other people's opinions of you are none of your business. Wait, what? Say that again? That sounded like a really smart thing to say. Molly, when someone has an opinion of you, that's their choice and their problem, not yours. Besides, if you're not on Snapchat, you don't even have to see it. Yeah, but everybody's going to be talking about it. Let them blah, 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 blah. You know you're amazing, and that's all that matters. Wow, I never thought of it that way before. Please can I have Snapchat back now? Molly, no. I'll tell you what. If you can go the whole day without Snapchat, then tomorrow I'll unban it. Really? That doesn't sound so hard. Besides, it's not like I can get out anyway. 
I want you to try to spend the day having fun in the real world. Ugh, this is gonna be the most boring day ever. Molly, I want you to try. All right, fine. Well, Molly, we don't have our phones, so we better as well make the best of it. Ugh, I guess so. But will anybody even know we're having fun if we don't take a snap of it? But maybe we can have fun without everybody knowing. What's the point of that? Whee! <laughs> oh, actually, that was kind of fun. Burr, the water's cold. See, Molly, it's okay to have fun without anybody looking. Yeah, I guess you're right, but don't we want everybody to know we're having fun? Duh, we can just have fun ourselves. Crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, it is kind of crazy. Well, since we don't have Snapchat, better make the best of it, I guess. Come on, Daisy, let's swim. Daisy, let's play Marco Polo. Okay, Molly, you be it, and I'll be the one you try to get. And don't peek, Molly, no cheating. Me cheat? <laughs> Never. Molly, your eyes are open. Ooh. Close them. Okay, okay, they're closed. Marco Polo. Marco Polo. No cheating by getting out of the pool, Daisy. Marco. <laughs> She's under the water. <laughs> Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Ha ha ha! Got you, Daisy! Ha ha ha! Look at all these flavors! They look delicious! Yeah, everybody's been in here getting three scoops and Snapchatting them. We have new flavors today, and everyone wants to get a snap of them. Me too! Oh, wait a minute. I don't have Snapchat. Who cares, Molly? We can still enjoy the ice cream, right? I don't think it'll taste as good if I don't make a snap of it. Molly, come on. The ice cream's going to taste the same. Uh, what can I get for you? I'll have the birthday cake, I guess. Even though no one else is going to see me eating it. It's not even going to taste as good. Molly, just try it. Mmm. Actually, I think it tastes better. You know, when I'm not distracted on my phone, it's like... I can actually taste what I'm eating. Whoa, maybe Mom was smarter than we thought about Snapchat. <laughs> You're right. Nah. What do parents know? <laughs> They're just old and boring. Daisy, look at this. I got a new high score. Whoa, that's amazing, Molly. It says you're number one in the whole arcade. I gotta Snapchat this. Oh, wait. No, Snapchat, it's banned. Well... I'll always know you got the highest score. Oh! And anybody who comes in here to play this game will see Molly. But but they won't know who Molly is unless I snap it. <coughs> Girls, it seems so great to see your faces without phones in front of them. So, how was your day at the pool? Mm, these burritos are delicious, Mom. Our day was amazing, right, Molly? Yeah, I thought I was going to really miss snapping everything. And I did at first, but... We still had fun in the pool, and then we ate ice cream, we went to the arcade, and Mom, I got the highest score! Yay! Whoa, that sounds amazing. So, you don't want me to ever unban Snapchat? Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? Well, I did promise you that I would give you back Snapchat if you spent the whole day without worrying about it and having fun. And we did, Mom. I promise. I just hope you've learned your lesson when it comes to Snapchat. AT&T, how may I help you? Hi, yes, I'd like to unban the apps on my daughter's phone, please. Both of my daughters. Okay, no problem. There you go. Hey, everybody, I'm back! Molly, you've had Snapchat for one second. She's obsessed. What can she say? OMG, I missed everybody so much! Ha <laughs> ha! I, I took a screen-free day, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, no. I fear, Molly, that you're never going to be able to stop snapping. Never! <laughs>
Good morning, Molly. Time to wake up. It's okay, Mom. I'm already sort of awake because I was like super hungry, so my stomach woke me up. <laughs> you have a stomach alarm clock, huh? Yeah. Sometimes it comes in handy, actually, because <laughs> I want to sleep through the alarm that wakes me up for school. But you can't sleep sleep through it being hungry. No, you really can't, Molly. Come on, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. Sounds good. My stomach's like grumbling. <laughs> Whoa, what are all these pumpkins for, Mom? Oh, I'm gonna make a pumpkin pie and also an apple pie and ooh, leftover candy from Halloween. Um, Molly, Halloween was like two months ago. Yeah, and the candy doesn't go bad, Mom. <laughs> Molly, you can't have candy for breakfast. Good morning, everybody! Good morning! Molly, why you say it like that? Because, Daisy, I was like, good morning, annoying sister. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Mom, can I have a banana or something? I'm so hungry. Yeah, you can have a banana because that's healthy, but then we're going to have a regular breakfast, not Halloween candy. <laughs> Maddie wanted to eat Halloween candy for her breakfast. She's so immature and irresponsible. What? No, I'm not, Mom! How come I can't say that she's, like, annoying, but she can say I'm irresponsible and immature? Girls, let's just try to get along and eat our pancakes in peace. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah, Molly. Girls, I don't want to have to ground you, okay? No, I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be. I'm supposed to go to the water park this weekend. So hungry, so hungry. Here you go, Molly. Enjoy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, wow, this looks delicious. Mm. Mom, you make the best pancakes in the world. I'm going to have some delicious tea. I'm going to have delicious tea. Well, I'm going to have lots and lots and lots of pancakes. Mm, these pancakes are good. Okay, girls, I want to talk to you about something. Ah, oh, finally, we're getting a puppy! No, we're not getting a puppy, Molly. What I want to tell you is I have to run errands most of the day, and then I have a work meeting, so I have to leave someone in charge. <laughs> of course it's me, Mom. I'm the older one. Actually, Molly, it's going to be Daisy. What? No, you can't leave Daisy in charge of me. Molly, uh, I think she's kind of the mature one. What? No, she's not. Look at her. Look at her. She wears pigtails. So, Marty, even grown-ups wear pigtails. Yeah, Molly, sometimes they do. Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's why, Marty, I'm in charge. Okay, girls, try to get along while I'm gone, okay? See you later. Okay, Marty, you have to do everything I say. <laughs> That's a good one, Daisy. That's a good one. Oh, Molly, your room is smelly. And you didn't make your bed? Make a bed, Molly. Okay, I'll make my bed. Molly, all you're doing is jumping up and down. Whee! <laughs> Molly, why is it you're doing the opposite of what I say? Ah, uh, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. <laughs> Molly, I am the boss of you. Mom made me the boss. Now make your bed. Uh-huh, sure. And when you're done with that, do your homework. All right, I'll do my homework. Everything my sister says, I'm going to do the complete opposite. The brightly colored unicorn. The brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Molly, are you doing your homework? No. Molly, you're supposed to do what I say. I'm in charge. Uh-huh, sure you are, but I'm not. I'm doing the opposite. Molly, you do not do the opposite. Did you make your bed? Molly, you didn't make your bed. Oh my god, you're the most terrible um, sister in the world. Yep, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Molly, do your laundry right now. Okay, I'll do my laundry. Wow, she's actually listening. She's actually getting her laundry. Okay, I'm impressed, Molly. Molly, where are you going? The washer's not outside. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> Molly, are you going to throw your clothes in the pool? Molly, you better not. <laughs> See you later, clothes. Molly! You're grounded. Go to your room. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, what are you doing? I was trying to lock you out, but you came in too quick. Seriously, Molly, you need to calm down. Now go and start your chores. Okay, Daisy. Okay, here's the mop and the broom. And I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm just going to be lazy and relax. Ah, this is the life. 
Molly, are your chores done? No! Doing the exact opposite of what you say. Okay, you are doing the exact opposite of what I say, huh? Okay, noted. Um, please go swim in the pool. What? Swim in the pool? Uh, but that's fun. Yeah, I want you to have as much fun as you possibly can. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do anything opposite. Whoa, baby Kira left all her toys all over the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Finally, you see things my way. Holy guacamole! This water's freezing! Daisy, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I want you to go inside and eat as much candy as you can. Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that. Mm, this is good candy. Mm. Molly, why are you eating all that candy again? Uh, because you told me to. Keep eating, Molly. You're not done. Oh, it's a lot of candy, Daisy. It's a lot. Keep eating it, Molly. Keep eating it. Oh. Ah! My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Molly, where you going? I gotta go throw up. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, maybe you shouldn't do the opposite. You should just listen. I'm not doing the opposite. I'm doing exactly what you tell me now. Okay, okay, you're confusing me right now, Molly. But the point is, is that sometimes you should just listen to the mature and responsible sister. Okay, I'll listen to everything you say. As soon as I lay down for a while, because I ate way too much candy. See, if it was up to you, Molly, you would have done silly things the entire time. But I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing, and you're not even listening. Molly? Molly? Listen to me! <laughs> Oh, brother, I can't be in charge of her. That's it! I quit! <laughs> now I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. <laughs> Hello, can I get any service here? I just want my Egg McMuffin sandwich. I'm gonna be late for school. Hey, Molly. <laughs> Um, as soon as we're done ordering, since we were in line first, then you can go. We're all going to be late to school and we're going to get detention. <laughs> well, I need my Egg McMuffin and hash brown. Me too. Hey, Molly, did you hear? There's supposed to be a new student today. And I heard she's really weird. What? Well, that sounds cool because I'm weird too. <laughs> we'll probably be best friends. No, like weird, weird. Oh, come on. Now there's like this this Yeti who's getting his Egg McMuffin before me? Sorry, but I was in line first. I ordered online. <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, it looks like I'm not getting breakfast before school today. Everybody's in, well, they're in line before me. Oh, yeah. uh, Molly, that's because you're in the collect line, not in the order line. What? Oh, man. Hi, um... Hi, um, can I get an Egg McMuffin and also a hash brown and a coffee? Sorry, we're out of hash browns and we're out of Egg McMuffin. <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess I'm not getting breakfast. I'm going to be so late for school. Wow, good thing I didn't go through the drive-thru. Holy guacamole, they had a car crash! <laughs> can't believe McDonald's was out of Egg McMuffins. Oh, now I'm going to be hungry all day and late for class. Ow! Uh, why is there a kiddie pool in the middle of the classroom? I have no idea, Molly. Maybe it's to teach us math somehow. No, it's water day! Hooray! Yay! I doubt that, Molly. Our teacher's not that fun. Oh, whatever. You guys are so... Blah, 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 Sarah. Good morning, class. Good morning. Everybody settle down, please. I have an announcement to make. If you hadn't noticed, <laughs> there's a pool in the middle of our classroom. And that's because we're about to have a new student. Now, she does have something special about her. And I expect you all to treat her with respect and kindness. I made myself clear, class. Ugh, whatever. It's probably going to be another loser because I'm the only baddie in this school. Sarah, quit being so rude. Jeepers, can you imagine what it would feel like if it was your first day at a new school? 
Uh, yeah, I'd be awesome no matter what school I went to. Wow. Oh, stop talking to me, loser. Um, yeah, well, I didn't want to talk to you anyway, but you're being so rude about the new student. And, you know, she has feelings, too. So try to be nice, okay? Ugh, whatever. And here comes our new student now. Everybody, I'd like you to meet Coral. Where is she? Um, I'll leave right there. Holy guacamole, she's a mermaid? Hi, <laughs> my name is Coral. Um, buh. Molly, say something, don't be woo. <laughs> I'm sorry, Coral, but I've never met a mermaid. Like, look, I've never even seen a mermaid in the zoo. Wow. Molly, they don't have mermaids in any zoo. Oh, it's okay. Everybody has the same response towards me when they first meet me. Oh my god, it's a mermaid! Uh, yeah, because it's crazy! I didn't even know mermaids were like a thing in real life. Oh, why is all the attention on her? She's obviously just like a weirdo. <gasps> Sarah, quit being woo! <sighs> it's okay, I'm used to it. My last school was the same way. Uh, you see, my dad got a job in the human world. He's trying to make good relationships between the mermaids and the humans. And well, that means we have to live on land. And no one ever seems to accept me at any school I go to. I don't have any friends. Of course you don't. You're not human. You're a freak. Sarah! Oh, be quiet, loser. You would defend some, ew, slimy mermaid. I bet her tail, it, it's like, Smells like fishy. Sarah, the only thing that stinks around here is your sour attitude. Yeah. Coral, you can sit by me and my sister Daisy at lunch today if you want. Oh my gosh, are you serious? That's so nice. Yeah, and um, also, I was thinking about having a sleepover tonight. Would you like to come? Molly, how's she gonna come to a sleepover? Don't worry, Daisy, I'll figure that out later. We don't have a pool. Daisy, I'll figure it out. Um, yeah, uh, I'll have to ask my dad. Let me call him on my shell phone. <laughs> Your shell phone. You're hilarious. Hey, look, Coral. We're having pizza today. Um, that's nice, but uh, mermaids don't eat pizza. Seriously, have you even tried pizza? It's the most delicious food in the world. Well, besides bean burritos, cookies, cupcakes. Uh, yeah, mermaids don't eat pizza. Holy guacamole. What am I going to feed you at my sleepover? Um, well, I could give you some ideas if you want. First of all, I do like sandwiches. Seaweed and tuna sandwiches. Um, ew. Actually, seaweed is really healthy for you, whether you're a mermaid or a human. Yeah, Molly, it has a lot of nutrients. It's like a superfood. Is pizza a superfood? Uh, no, Molly, I don't think so. Well, mm, I think it's super delicious. <laughs> I can't believe she's getting all the attention just because she has a mermaid tail. I'll give them a whale of a lesson they'll never forget. I'll fry this fish. <laughs> oh, must be Molly's home. Ew, what's that smell? Daisy, I'm back. And I got all the fish from the fish market. I know, I can smell it from a mile away. And that one still has its head. Its eyes are staring at me. <laughs> Sorry, but that's how they sell them at the fish market. Ew, gross. I don't know how to make sushi, but I know that from the recipe I found on my phone that you need to have seaweed. Did you get that too? Of course I did. And the fish with all the heads still attached. Yeah, that's the first thing that's got to go. Chop, chop! Um, I don't really want to make the sushi because I feel like I'm going to mess it up, so you make the sushi, I'll set up the kiddie pool. Oh, fine. This seems like the perfect spot to set up the kiddie pool. Uh, that way our new friend Coral can watch a movie, too. Perfect. Now we just got to drag in the hose and fill it up with some water. Molly, Mom's never going to let you pull the hose in. Ow. Hmm, how am I going to get water in this thing? <gasps> I know! Hurry up, Molly, and fill that pool! I know this is taking forever, but hopefully it's filled in time by the time Coral gets here. I don't want her tail to dry out. Daisy, she's here. Hi, Coral. Come on in. Need water. Need water. Don't worry. I set up a kiddie pool right over here for you. 
Oh, thank you. I can only be out of the water about 10 minutes before my tail dries out. Then what would happen? Oh, it wouldn't be good, Molly. It would not be good. Um, okay, well, it's okay. We have the pool here. And we made you some delicious sushi. Seriously? You guys are the bestest friends I've ever Aww. had. I've never had friends before. Well, that's about to change, Coral. And now you can tell us all about what it's like to be a mermaid. <laughs> okay, sure. Being a mermaid is amazing. You can swim around in the ocean all day. Do you have to do homework? Yeah, I do. I still have to go to mermaid school. Um, and you still have to be careful of sharks because some of them are really grumpy and unfriendly. Wow, sounds like you have bullies in the ocean even. Yeah, sharks are really big bullies. Most of them anyway. <laughs> but I'm like excited that I finally have human friends because I wasn't sure I was ever going to have any. Where were your friends called? Don't worry. Forever and always. Yeah. Even when you go back to the ocean, you could still come visit us. Aw, thank you. So, uh, you want to watch a human movie or a mermaid movie? Wow. <laughs> you know, the one with Ariel. Uh, that one's so, well, not even true. Pfft, we don't comb our hair with a fork. <laughs> come on, we're not animals. I mean, we kind of partly are animals, but we know about, like, things like, like combs and stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll watch a different movie. How about Brooke High? Oh, I always wanted to watch that, but my dad says it's like silly human garbage TV. What? Brooke High is amazing. Um, Molly, uh, what's wrong? What's wrong, Coral? I have to go to the bathroom, and I don't want to pee in your pool. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. I'll show you where the bathroom is. It's right here. Thanks, Molly. Let me know if you need anything else. Daisy, did you make any of that fish-flavored ice cream? I sure did. But we need to check out it and make sure it froze up in the freezer. Come on, let's go look. Ha <laughs> ha, look at these losers having some stupid sleepover. I'm going to ruin it once and for all. <gasps> look, there's Coral's pool. All I have to do is put a hole in it. All the water will come out and I'll steal it. <laughs> <laughs> Coral, I have a treat for you. What? You do? Yeah. Yeah. It's fish-flavored ice cream. Holy guacamole, that looks so delicious. Hey, who did you hear holy guacamole from? Do you eat guacamole in the ocean? No, <laughs> I just learned it from watching you, Molly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I do say that a lot. Come on, Daisy, don't you want some fish-flavored ice cream? Um, no, I'll pass on that. I think I'm just gonna have vanilla. <gasps> oh, I'm cheap. What happened to Coral's pool? What? What's going on? Did, did you guys take my pool down? Uh -oh. No, of course we didn't. We know you need the water. Oh my God, it's missing. Who would have stole the mermaid's pool if she needs that? I don't know, but a thief was in our house when we were in the kitchen getting the fish flavored ice cream. Um, guys, I don't mean to be like a pain or anything, but um, my tail is already starting to dry out. I don't mind it. We can put it in the hot tub. No can do. The hot tub is drained. Remember? Uh, Dad had to take all of the water out because they said, they, they said it needed a repair. But what about the shower? I don't know, guys. The shower won't last long because, well, I need to be submerged in the water. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Her tail's going to dry out. We can't get her back to the ocean in time. It's too far away. Yeah, my dad actually went out of town for the night, so I don't have my carpool either. <laughs> carpool. Get it like when lots of people ride together? Car carpool. <laughs> Molly, be serious. Sorry, but... <laughs> I guess carpool means something different for mermaids. <laughs> I've ruined that mermaid's life. Now all the attention can be back where it belongs. On me. <laughs> See you later, stinky mermaid. <gasps> I have an idea. Coral, come on, let me pick you up. Uh, Molly, I, I don't know what you're planning, but your ideas are usually bad. No, it's good. Uh, trust me. Hold on, Coral. I'm going to run as fast as I can to get you down to the school pool. Molly, the school's closed. It's after dark. Then we'll break in. Coral needs us. Wow, Coral, I didn't realize mermaids were so heavy. 
Maybe a little less seaweed sandwiches. Ooh. Hey! Sorry! <sighs> You're just really, really heavy! Ow. We're gonna get in so much trouble for this! No, we won't. We're saving a mermaid's life. We have to do this! <laughs> okay, Molly. Whoa! You're using an axe holy guacamole! Do you want to get into the school or not? Hooray! We did it! Coral, there you go! Coral? Daisy! Coral! Coral! Say something! I, I, I'm about to lose my tail. Uh, are they like lizards? Does your tail grow back? Maddie, no! When she loses her tail, it's gone forever! I, I, I'm not gonna make it, guys. Yes, you will! Hold on, Coral! Hold on! Ow, Ow, you hit my head! Sorry, didn't mean to give you a concussion. I'm trying to get you in the water! There, there, we're getting your tail wet! It's gonna be okay! Maddie, she's sinking! Well, she's a mermaid, Daisy. She can swim underwater. Is she gonna make it? I don't know, Maddie. I don't know. Coral! Coral, please! You're our friend! Our only mermaid friend! You're so cool! Please be okay! Suspense. It's killing me. I don't know what's going to happen right now, Molly. It feels like so much time has passed. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, I thought you said the Little Mermaid was fake. I know she sang all the time. I know. <laughs> I'm just teasing you guys. <laughs> Since everyone thinks mermaids sing all the time. In reality, what we do is love to swim. O-M-G! Who is that? Oh, um, that's Coral. Coral, would you like to be on the swim team? I I'm the coach. Is she allowed to be? She's a mommy. Well, she's a student here, so I don't see why she can't be. I'd love to be on the swim team. That would be amazing. Um, I'm in the water. Can I be on the swim team? No, Molly. Ow. You would be too busy making bubbles under the water. Ew. What? Which she means, Molly, is no farting in the pool. Now get out. <laughs> Fine. I don't need to be on the swim team. And do you know what, Coral? So your tail doesn't dry out, I'm going to give you a key to the pool. You can come in anytime you want. Wow. Wow, Coral. See? You're really starting to fit in at Brookhaven High. I really am. This is such an amazing day. Yeah. Yeah. But who stole the pool from our house? She obviously has an enemy here in Brookhaven. Yeah, and until we know who it is, Coral's, well, not safe. Ooh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I cannot wait to tell Daisy this huge surprise. She's gonna be so excited! Daisy! Oh, Daisy! Whoa, it's dark in your room, Daisy. I'm gonna turn on a light. Molly, would you please get out of my room? I'm trying to gain. In the dark? Yeah, it's super fun this way. I feel like I'm really immersed in the game. Why are you in my room, by the way? Because I have a really big surprise! I don't believe you, Molly. I think it's just a lie. No, seriously, I have a really big surprise for you. I'm not even lying, I promise. Really, Molly? You have a surprise for me? What is it? Did you make cookies? Daisy, stop playing your computer. I'm going to tell you something cool. Oh, right. What is it? I talked to Mom, and she said, we can have a sleepover. Molly, we sleep over in the same house every single night. What's such a big surprise about that? No, silly. Brookie's coming over, and we're going to have a sleepover with her. OMG, that's amazing! I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited! <laughs> I figured you would be. Now follow me into the kitchen. Why, Molly? I don't want to watch you eat another snack. It's all you ever do. Okay, well, I know that might be a little boring, but... Molly, I'm not watching you eat a snack. I'm not going to eat a snack, okay? I'm going to make some cookies. It's a celebration. Oh, I should make something too, then. Oh, what should I make? Maybe some muffins or something, because I want to have variety then when Pookie's here. Oh, she's going to love that. Yeah, she's going to love your cookies a lot too, Molly. I hope so. They're chocolate chip. Ooh, those are my favorite. Me too. I kind of want to eat the cookie dough. Molly, don't eat the cookie 
Tito, there's raw egg in that, you know. You'll get food poisoning. Yeah, I know. Mom always tells me, don't eat the raw dough. It's gross. <laughs> Ooh, and I just got to bake them. Tell me, Marley, my food is in there. What? But, but my cookies are ready to go in. Well, maybe we can make room for your cookies, too. Maybe. Okay, let's see if they'll fit. Oh, never mind. They're done. Ugh, you're taking over the entire stove. Yeah, but now they're done, so don't whine, okay? Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie! Molly, what are you doing over there? Uh, I'm watching these delicious cookies bake. Wait a minute, you're making cookies? Absolutely! You're my bestest friend. Of course I'm going to make you chocolate chip cookies. But I made you blueberry muffins. Wouldn't you like to have some of those? No, she wants chocolate chip cookies. No, she wants blueberry muffins. Cookies! Muffins, Molly! Cookies! Um, guys, I'm really hungry. I just got done working out at the gym. I'll have one of each, please. She's eating my muffin first. That means she likes me battle. No, it doesn't. It just means that my cookies aren't out of the oven yet. Ouch, ouch. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, no. Did I burn them? <laughs> Molly, you burned your cookies. Only a couple on the top, Molly. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't mind a burnt cookie either. If you just dip, dip them in milk, it's still delicious. Mmm. Yum. Okay, Brookie, eat one of my non-burned cookies. Okay, Molly. Ooh, these look delicious. She's gonna like my muffins, battle. No, she's not! Who could that be? Everybody's here for the sleepover. Well, maybe it's a surprise guest. We aren't allowed to have a surprise guest, are we, Molly? I don't know. I only asked if Brookie could come over. Who is it? Hey, what's up? Can I come in? Uh, Sarah, what are you doing here? Oh, great. I'm so glad you opened the door. Finally, what could you be any more rude? Oh, Sarah, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, who farted? Sorry, it was me. <laughs> Those blueberry muffins kind of well made me gassy. <laughs> it's okay, Bruggy. Ugh, yucky, stinky. Ugh, so gross. Total losers. Wait a minute. What are you doing in my house? And why are you eating all my cookies? Those are for my best friend. Oh, well, I guess I'm your best friend now because these cookies are mine. Someone said you were having a sleepover and, um, well, I'm here to crash it. Who told you there was a sleepover? Oh, I think that would be Brookie, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I just mentioned that I was really excited about coming to the sleepover. I saw Sarah at the library. I I'm really sorry. Oh, Brookie! Oh, well, I guess it's going to be a party of four. Do you have anything to drink? I'm so thirsty. Uh, usually it's kind of rude to just get in someone's refrigerator. If you don't live there, that is. Oh, I just got in your refrigerator, Molly. Yeah, but you're my best friend, so okay. I don't even know what to say right now. Boy, Molly, talk about putting your foot in your mouth. <laughs> hey, don't drink all the milk. We need that for the cookies. Oh, wait. <coughs> Never mind. You ate all the cookies. Okay, so what are we doing at this sleepover? Well, I thought first we could um go jump on the trampoline for a while and swing on the swings and stuff. That sounds fun, right? Yeah, I guess. Whee! Come on, guys. This is so much fun. Marley, I don't know. Maybe our guests won't have fun at our sleepover. What are you talking about? I don't know. It just... I mean, Sarah's here and she's kind of rude. I'm having a great time. Don't worry about me, guys. Okay. Whee! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Blueberries make my stomach kind of crazy. <laughs> I knew you'd like the chocolate chip cookies better. I'll be right back. Uh-oh. I think Brookie had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Molly, do you think Sarah will ruin our sleepover? I don't think so, but I hope not. Speaking of Sarah, I better go check on her. Why isn't she outside? What is she doing? Oh, look at this! Molly's diary! What? Get out of there! Get off my computer right now! Okay, I gotta unplug my computer. Hey, I was using that! That is not yours! Now please go outside with everyone else at the sleepover! Fine. What a party pooper you are. OMG, Sarah. You're making me crazy. Ugh, finally. 
Marty, is everything okay? Yeah, don't worry about a thing, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Okay, I'm back. I hope you feel better now, Brookie. Totally. Why did she feel good? Oh, no reason, Daisy. Don't worry about anything. She didn't like your blueberry muffins. Molly, I didn't say that. Okay, it makes her stomach upset. Really? I'm so sorry. Oh, they were delicious, Daisy. Don't worry about a thing. Molly, don't be mean. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, guys, you want to go in and watch a movie? Sure, but where's the fourth person at, you know? Sarah? I don't know. Hopefully she's not getting herself into more trouble. <laughs> I just realized there's a snowman in the pool. <laughs> Weird. Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Molly, where could she have gotten to? She's probably getting into trouble. I don't know. I don't see her anywhere. I'm going to go back into the backyard and see if I can find her out there. Ugh, I wanted pizza. This party's so late. Sarah! Get, get out of my mom's car! What are you doing? See you later. I'll be back later, loser. Sarah! O-M-G! Daisy! Molly, is everything okay? Oh my gosh. No! Sarah just took my mom's car to go get pizza! What? Does she even have a driver's license? I don't know. But, um, I think I better call my mom. What's going on, guys? Bailey colored unicorn. Molly, get out in front of the TV. We have a bigger problem than that. What is it, Molly? I mean, you standing in front of Bailey colored unicorn really is a problem for me. Sarah just took mom's car to get pizza. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to go call mom. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be so mad. She's going to be so mad. Hey, Daisy, what's going on? Mom, we didn't find Sarah to our sleepover, but she came anyway, and then she stole your car. What? Okay, I'll call the police, and I'll be right home. Okay, are we all in trouble? No, Mom said that Sarah's in trouble. She's calling the police. Well, let's lock the door so she can't come back, because I don't want her getting us in trouble. Good idea, Brookie. Now, come on, guys. Let's go watch a movie. Ooh, this looks like awesome. Molly, we've seen the Brightly Colored Unicorn movie before. Yeah, but Brookie hasn't. Oh, Brookie, did you want to stay here? No, I kind of like to sprawl out on the floor. I'm cool. All right. Well, have you seen this movie? No, I haven't seen it before at all. It looks really good. Hey, guys, thanks for inviting me over to this sleepover. Even though my blueberry muffins made you... Yeah, they were still delicious, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just blueberry intolerant. Even though that Sarah came and she was like being crazy. Yeah, that wasn't you guys' fault. I'm still having a really great time. I want to come to your sleepover like every day. Well, that would mean you'd live here. Yeah, you could be our sister. OMG, that would be amazing. <laughs>